What's up YouTube and today we take a look back at the C7 Corvette. What's up everybody? My name is D and I'd like to welcome you to my channel. And in today's vlog, we are going to take a look back at one of the most celebrated generations in Corvette history, the C7 Corvette. As we all know, GM officially acknowledged that a new mid-engine C8 Corvette is on the horizon and will be unveiled on July 18th in Tustin, California. With this announcement, the clock is now ticking closer to the end of the C7 generation Corvette. Additionally, the announcement was also made that on June 28th, the final C7 Corvette, which will be a black Z06 with adrenaline red interior, will be auctioned off at Barrett-Jackson. Now, this does not mean that on July 28th, the last production C7 will be sold and C7s will end. This auction gave the rights to the winner of the auction to receive the last C7 Corvette whenever production ends, which could be as late as the fall. With that being said, the most radically changed and arguably the most successful run generation will come to an end. Many people speculated that the C7 and C8 would be built alongside one another for a few years until they decide to kill off the C7 for good. However, Taj Juchter stated that once they start C8 production, they will make a clean break from the C7. So today, I'd like to take a look back at how the C7 came to be and how far it's come to present date. Now, who would have ever thought that the C7 Corvette almost did not happen because of the economic slump that the country was in as well as GM declaring bankruptcy and having to be bailed out by the government? The car was delayed three years because of this and it also may have been the best thing to happen to the C7 because it gave GM more time to produce a better car. On July 14th, 2013, the C7 Corvette Stingray, a designation that had not been used on a Corvette since 1967, was introduced to the world at the North American International Auto Show in Detroit, Michigan for the 2014 model year. It boasted a 6.2 liter V8 rated engine at 455 to 460 horsepower depending on whether the car was equipped with the performance exhaust. A new 7-speed manual was standard while a 6-speed automatic was optional for the first model year and was replaced by an 8-speed automatic in 2015 and beyond. Now, the C6 generation lasted for about 8 years from 2005 through 2013. Many people in the Corvette community loved the styling of the C6 Corvette but there was always one thing that was a bit lackluster, the interior. <laughs> for the price that GM was asking for the C6, many people believed that the interior should have been nicer than what it was. The interior looked very plasticky and could have used some upgraded materials. Well, GM heard everyone loud and clear, thus ushering a new era of C7 interior goodness. The community finally felt that this new ergonomic design and upgraded materials were finally fitting for a car of the Corvette's caliber. Now the Stingray was not met with all praise and the introduction of the new redesigned taillights sparked a lot of controversy with the Corvette purist. Also the new redesign was said to be too radical as it began to look more European than an American sports car. However, GM made this calculated move to appeal to a younger buyer as GM was trying to remove the stigma of this being an old man's car. Debuting in 2015, the next C7 to come out of the gate was the Corvette Z06. Utilizing a 6.2 liter supercharged engine pumping out 650 horsepower and 650 pound-feet of torque, 
the Z06 was poised to break some hearts on the track. With its aggressive styling and wide body stance, the Z06 was the Corvette to have. However, stories soon surfaced of heat soak and lint mode beginning to plague the Z06 and was soon all over the internet. They stated that the Z06 had suffered from a cooling defect that would throw the car into lint mode even after the 2017 model year where the issues were said to be fixed they were not in 2016 GM put forth the Z06 C7R edition Corvette the inspiration for this car was the C7R race car this was not merely a cosmetic upgrade and this would be limited to only 500 units spread across both the coupe and the convertible it would only be offered in black and Corvette race yellow with the grills and vents painted spectra gray as well as Corvette racing door seals. Every single one would come with the higher performance Z07 package, a special sequential VIN and the upscale 3LZ trim package. In 2017, the Corvette Grand Sport was added to the C7 lineup. This car debuted at the Geneva International Motor Show in Geneva, Switzerland. GM introduced the Grand Sport Collector's Edition that will consist of the exterior color Watkins Glen Grey with tension blue interior. This color combination was only going to be utilized by the Collector's Edition which would be limited to 1,000 units. The Corvette Grand Sport was and still is considered the best all-around track car because of its naturally aspirated engine that also gave you the body stylings of the Z06 which included the wider body, aero kit, as well as the larger wheels and tires for a lesser price point. 2018, GM celebrated a milestone with another specialty car, which only produced 650 units globally. The Carbon 65 marked 65 years of Corvette. You would get this variant in either a Grand Sport 3LT or a Z06 3LZ package. It also introduced Corvette's newest color, Ceramic Matrix Gray Metallic. The Carbon 65 included visible carbon fiber front splitter, side skirts, rear spoiler, hood stinger, roof on coupes, tonneau inserts on convertibles. Not to mention gloss carbon fiber interior trim. 2018 was one of the shortest production years as the plant shut down to retool the paint facility. This also set up three different model years being sold at the exact same time. The 2017, 2018, and 2019 model years were sold on some dealers lots during this time because of the hectic production schedule. The 2019 model year started earlier than normal which set the stage for the 2019 model year being a long model year run. Stingray. Grand Sport and the Z06 production started January 29th of 2018. This was also the year that the big dog on campus started production. The Corvette ZR1, which began production on March 5th, 2018. The Corvette ZR1 was unveiled in Dubai on November 12th, 2018 to much fanfare. However, many in the U.S. were extremely disappointed to see this car released overseas and felt it was a slap in the face to Americans. GM made the decision to show this car over in Dubai because of its Corvette following there as well as there was a lot of people who could afford the price point that would come with the ZR1. We shortly found out before the U.S. debut in Los Angeles, California, that the price point would be a starting price of $119,000 for the coupe and $124,000 for the convertible and would only come in a 1ZR or 3ZR package. There is the track version, the ZTK package car, and the non-track version, non-ZTK car that boasted a whopping 755 horsepower, 715 pound-feet of torque, 0 to 60 in 2.8 seconds, a quarter mile time of 10.6 seconds, and 0 to 100 in 6 seconds flat. It was also able to reach speeds of 212 miles per hour plus. The ZR1 is the ultimate Corvette and was fitting for the final trim level to be unveiled. 
The 2019 ZR1 is the only ZR1 in Corvette history to be a one model year run. Over a year after the debut of the ZR1, GM turned out two more specialty edition Corvettes in 2019. These were the driver's signature series cars, which were cars designed by four Corvette race team race car drivers and were all Grand Sports. The cars were given color combinations selected by the drivers. Additionally, GM released the final edition, C7 Corvette over in Europe to wrap up the C7 and was sold in either a Grand Sport or a Z06. It was offered in either Sebring orange metallic tint coat or ceramic matrix gray metallic. There is still no date as to when the C7 production will end. However, it is close. The C7 Corvette has changed the face of Corvette for the better with this unique styling that has brought in new Corvette owners, old and young alike. It has rejuvenated its fan base and has solidified its place in the history of Corvette as one of the most celebrated generations ever. We are now on the cusp of a new era in Corvette with the C8 mid-engine Corvette. However, while it is still here, let us not forget what we have in the C7. A capable car that is giving the exotic and supercar market a run for its money with its performance and handling. So everybody, I'd like to thank you for coming by. This is my take and my tribute to the C7 Corvette, one of the greatest generation Corvettes ever. If you like this video, please go ahead and smash that like button. If you like the channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well if you so desire. And as always, everybody, remember everyone deployed.